Now we've got a diff here that has a, a leaky flange. Um, just got to tap it off with the hammer. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the seal's actually worn a little groove in the flange where, where it runs. So we're going to polish that up and replace the seal on this one. Yeah, I've got this tail shaft um, yoke flange that, uh, that goes into the diff and I've just got to polish this up here now. Problem is, is how I'm going to hold it in the lathe to polish it up. So what I do is I just, I've measured this um, in here and I'm just going to machine out of a bit of hardwood a little dolly that I'm going to knock into there and then I'll be able to spin it around and uh, polish that up. So I'm just going to do that now. spinning it backwards so that way it doesn't while I'm polishing it, it it doesn't hit my finger or knock my fingernail off you can see that's nice and nice and smooth now And that'll just go nicely back on that diff. We replaced the seal, polished up that uh, little flange there where the push all that back on there. And we've also marked where the where the nut goes, so we just go up to that. There you go. Thank you for watching. Just putting it all back together, put the washer on, put the nut back on, and we've got to do that up back to where it was. Might be able to go just a smidgen over, 
but uh, we need to put the tool on here just so we can get some leverage on it. There we go. That's just tightened up there now. And you can see where the mark is, where we've marked it there, that, that has to go down level with that. Um, we might just go a little bit further. Um, it's got a collapsible spacer in here, so it's important to not go too far or too under. Uh, you'll have a noisy diff. Anyway, we'll go ahead and just tighten that up. There we go, I've just used a big breaker bar, and I've just been careful not to go too far over. It's just gone a little bit over the where it was. You can see the mark there. And I've done that deliberately just so uh, that collapsible space has got a bit more tension on it. Important not to go too far. There we go. We've put it all back on. And don't forget to top it up with a bit of uh, diff oil.